In this video, we'll learn how to use for loops in P5.js. For loops are one of two types of loops we can use to repeat code in P5. The other is while loops, and for loops are quite similar. They use the same three basic steps of setup, just in a slightly different format. So in our code here, I've got a while loop that I'm using to draw out all these legs that we see on our character, Cody the Caterpillar. And I've set that up using my three steps of declaring and initializing a variable. In my while loop, setting up an exit condition and inside of that while loop block, changing my variable so that eventually my exit condition will become false and the loop stops. So let's go ahead and see if we can accomplish the same thing using a for loop instead of a while loop. I'm gonna comment out this while loop for now. And we'll start our for loop with the keyword for, then in parentheses, we're gonna do all three of our setup steps together. So I'm actually going to command X to cut that declaration of my leg X variable and I'm pasting it into my for loop. Then I'll use a semicolon and copy in my exit condition from the while loop. I'll separate that with a semicolon again. And then finally, I'll paste in the final step where I'm changing my variable so that eventually my exit condition will become false. So same three steps as we use in the while loop. The difference is they're all together in the setup of that for loop. And I'll make a block to go along with that. And I can just copy in this line declaration Oops, and I forgot I need to use my keyword let. And there you have it. We're accomplishing the same exact thing with a for loop as we did with a while loop. And your choice between whether to use one or the other is really up to you. Most people prefer to use the for loop. It's a little more foolproof in terms of making sure that you don't accidentally set up a loop that gets stuck or loops forever or crashes your code. And even though the for loop setup is a little bit longer than the while loop. It's nice because all of the steps are right there. I don't have to go searching around anywhere else in the code. I know where all that information is going to be. Okay, so that's how to use for loops in P5.